What is going on everybody? Logan here for a new video. And for the last few days, it doesn't matter what platform you're on, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you cannot get away from mid-engine C8 Corvette. And for good reason. I mean, it is a very affordable, high-performance car. Some people are dogging it because they're saying it looks like a Ferrari, which personally, that's not a bad thing. You know, if a car looks like a Ferrari, I mean, heck, a Ferrari, out of all things. I mean, hey, if they're talking and saying it looks like a Fiero, that's one thing. But a Ferrari... But... It's going to be a good high performance car, uh, 0 to 16 less than 3 seconds, very affordable, and I actually really like the styling. I mean, heck, if you can only dog a car by saying the taillights are ugly and that it looks like a Ferrari, I mean, you got to be doing something right. But really what I want to talk about today is it doesn't matter if you're a Ford fan, Dodge fan, Chevy fan, this is great for the customer. I mean, it might not be too great for the actual companies because now they have to pay more for research and development for newer cars, newer technology. Uh, heck, they might even do some kind of twin turbocharged the EcoBoost uh, Mustang now, I mean, with a V6 or something, that would be really cool. But it's going to force these companies to, for one, increase the performance, and two, make it a little bit more affordable. Because with a C8, this is probably making a lot of GT500 owners kind of rethink their purchases, because you're not going to be able to find a GT500, uh, I mean, even a base model GT500, for anything less than, what, 80, 85 with the dealer markups. And this really could actually force Ford to control the dealers as far as making it where they don't do these crazy high dealer markups I mean I doubt it will but it could help a little bit because if they don't do something the GT500 could fall flat on its face just because the C8 and there's a bunch of people who never thought that they'd be even getting a Corvette who are seriously considering going out and putting down some kind of deposit or something on one because these things are I mean it's a great bang for your buck uh, even me I mean I have thought about going out and buying some new balances because those are a must with any kind of Corvette heck even Alejandro Flores Yolo douchebag he's already made a video saying how I mean this C8 is a game changer and the video I made on the uh, debut date I mean yeah I was even saying it's a game changer because it really is that kind of power that kind of performance for so cheap I mean it's really unheard of because Ford the only thing they have that can compete with this thing is the Ford GT which costs high 400 low five hundred thousand dollars uh the GT 500 which like I already said it's gonna be probably close to about hundred thousand dollars even with not many options on it uh Dodge they have the Red Eye which is priced somewhat good uh but they have the Demon which is the only thing that can come close to accelerating that quick now Zero to 60, I mean, that is a good indicator. It always has been a good indicator as far as how quick your car is. These kind of performance numbers, it almost seems like maybe we need to start doing like zero to 100 because, you know, 2.8 seconds. How much quicker can you get to zero to 60? Uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe they'll start throwing all-wheel drive on there. Like, that's what me and one of my buddies is thinking, that with the Z06 and ZR1, that's really the only way they can go for better performance. So they're, I'm thinking they're going to do all-wheel drive uh, with Ford. I'm really hoping they do some kind of twin turbocharged V6. Uh, throw that, heck, even a V8. That would be amazing, them doing something. But they already have the GT500, so I doubt they're going to do that. But nonetheless, the C8 is great news for any kind of car enthusiast uh, because it's going to force the industry to adapt. If they don't adapt, they're going to fall flat on their face because the average consumer is who they're going to need to market to. Uh, like the average Joe, I mean, if he wants a quick car, for that's I mean still somewhat affordable I mean, yeah go out and buy a C8 now uh, GT500 that is kind of beyond that you know just average Joe what he can afford uh, but at $60,000 it's very affordable but I really can't wait to see what happens when customers actually get their hands on these C8s uh, putting on you know new tires doing slight modifications different tuning how quick it'll be able to go in the quarter mile, uh, zero to 100. I'm really curious to see how this thing's gonna handle, how reliable it's gonna be, because you know zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds, that puts a lot of stress on a lot of drive, drive, drive train components. And I mean, who knows? I mean, let's see how the engine holds up, because this is the first mid-engine Corvette, and I mean, heck, they could run into a huge slew of problems that can just completely kill the mid-engine. And with how much I'm sure it costs for research and development for the C8, Chevy is definitely betting big on this thing. They are hoping to attract so many Ford and Dodge guys and just the average dude to get this car. I mean, if it doesn't go great, if the if they didn't develop it good enough, if it's not reliable, this could be the end of the Corvette name. I know what y'all are thinking, you know, end of Corvette, what are you talking about? Well, look at the Camaro. There's rumors that the Camaro isn't going to be around very much longer, so we'll just have to wait and see. But let me know what y'all think of the C8. Is this a really cool car? Is it being way overhyped? Uh, just let me know down in the comments below. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.